Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, and shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Horn Hollow today, where we'll be relaxing as per usual. Um, we'll be talking about uh, Scotland, still on a trip. Uh, what, what's been going on in the games of the daily games I've been playing? Uh, I've decided that I'm going to pull for Kinich, um after seeing Aha. I can't remember his name. I thought it was Azure, but now I think about it, it's a Spanish and the way they pronounce it in uh, the game. This is Genshin Impact, by the way. Um, he is just just hilariously rude for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but I, I kind of have to pull him. Anyway, hello everyone. Right now in Four Hollow at 6.09pm on Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Well, it does make it difficult, because I do want Silonan, and if I can, I would like to get her weapon, but if I can't, then so be it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, what are we going to talk, what are we going to talk about for now? For nowsies, we can talk about, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think what else there is to talk about in the Scotland trip. So I'm just going to have a look-see. Um, we actually pulled in Genjin Impact on, on the trip. A bit of this is in the morning, we went into a forest, we basically went to look for something which my uh, friend had lost and we, we did find it and we're like, well, we've got so much time and it's the new Genshin Impact Natland update out, Miralani Banner, let's do some pulls. Uh, my friend, he won a 50-50 and I lost a 50-50 for Miralani, which is totally fine because like a Miralani, I was like, if I get her, that's great, if I don't, no big deal. Um, she just seemed kind of fun and after actually you know, playing her for a trial a bit and then seeing the upcoming characters and considering, I think I actually would prefer Kinich and Antilonan, but that's neither here nor there. So if anything, it's a blessing in disguise. Uh, the question is, how quickly am I going to be able to pull Kinich and Antilonan and maybe her weapon? But nonetheless, um, what, do, what do we do next? This is, a, this is a picture of me lying on the bed. It's more Genshin Impact. What's this? I don't know. Animals? What do we do this day? Ah, we actually went to the Loch Ness! Right, so yeah, um, Loch Ness. Um, if you don't know, Loch is just the, the garlic word, which is the Scottish language, um, I believe, <laughs> uh, for lake. So really, Loch Ness is just Lake Ness, just in, well, I, I guess Scottish, if I was to use a more colloquial term. Um, and yeah, we went to there. Uh, I'll be honest, how is it as a loch? It's fine. I mean, it's basically just a big old lake, to be honest. There's there's not really much about it, but that's not the reason you go there. You go there because obviously it's like a tourist site, etc, etc. It's got like a, uh, a famous name attached to it. And of course, because it's known as like a tourist site, there's a lot of things built up around it to accommodate tourists and to be interesting to see, etc, etc. Um, but yeah, uh, we went to Loch Ness. Um, if you don't know um, the story, there is... Um, I, I don't know if there's actually much more to the story. There might be like more of a mythos behind her, um, but this is as far as I know. Is that there is... Uh, I'm not sure what Loch Ness is counted as. Mythological creature? Cryptid, maybe? Um, but way back in the day, there was like... Um, what was a hoax, essentially, that there were sightings of like a, a mythical monstrous creature um, appearing in Loch Ness, which then became known as the Loch Ness Monster. Um, uh, you might have actually seen the photo. I think it's like a reasonably famous photo because it's a quote quote photo of a Loch Ness Monster of like this weird shadow of what looks to be like some sort of sea serpent, I would say, um, in the loch. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point it's been proven that it was just a hoax. Like, I, I don't know who created it or the story behind it, but people do this all the time. They make hoaxes, right? Just to, you know, virality or whatever, just to, to send a message, etc, etc, etc. But one actually tangent here that always sticks in my mind was there's a YouTuber I used to watch called We Folder Josh or We Folder, who is now known as The Bit Block, I think. I don't know if they're still making, he's still making videos. Um, but he used to be one of the early YouTubers I watched because I liked watching Nintendo stuff. Let's see. If I, if I put Wii Folder Josh, does it come up with the bit block? Ah, uh, do not play videos automatically. Still playing. Still playing games. You know what? Good for you, man. 185k subscribers. Anyway, not the point. Um, where he made a hoax of like a fake Wario Woods game or something in development. He like fabricated these screenshots and leaked them. And then people were like, whoa, I remember that. I remember thinking about it at the time. I think that's a very actually formative thing uh, because I, that was so long ago. Hold on, let's see. Wario Woods remake leak Wii folder. Do you think that'll come up? Um, Wii folder Josh. If 
does that come up? Like, he made, like, these fabricated screenshots, which I did see online. Uh, and then he made a video being like, oh, yeah, I made that. Or something. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's the hoax in my mind. Um, anyway, I, I was quite young when that happened. And that, you know, was very formative, I think, for me. Because I was like, whoa, I can't believe everything I see online. I had no attachment to the Wario Woods series or anything like that. But I was just like, whoa, that's crazy. You really can't believe anything I say online. So... If, if there's anything to take from this, then let this be a lesson of not to take take everything you see online with a grain of salt. Take a lot of information you see as a grain of salt, you know. I know it's it's hard to literally prove every information piece you come across. I know people always say that, like, check your sources, check your facts. Definitely you should do that on things which are formative, I think, for opinion. Some things you, I suppose, you can just sort of take for granted, right? Um, but I guess the better lesson to take from it is understand that the fallibility of um, things like the internet, the fallibility of the openly shared information which is easily accessible because it doesn't always mean it's right. So I guess more be open to change on, in light of other facts um, because I do think it's a bit unreasonable to expect every single person to fact check literally everything they see on the internet but certainly for things which are defining or you know affect people as a rule of thumb, definitely at least fact check those things which can form a basis for long lasting opinions, but I guess that's always harder to identify. Anyway, not the point. Loch Ness Monster. She's a hoax. Doesn't exist, as far as we know, I suppose, <laughs> to keep a myth mythos going. Um, but it was like fabricated by this like fake image. I don't even know. I'm going to guess like back in the 1800s or something. Is that even when? Phot when was photography invented? 1822. Loch Ness Monster. Also known as Nessie, which is by the way, oh, 1934, okay, I was way off. Um, now known to be a hoax. Um, but yeah, I mean, but there's a lot of, like, folklore creatures which are hoax. I mean, my logical brain says hoaxes, but like, well, I suppose they're more uh, dangerous part of my brain. is like, oh, what if? And they don't exist. But it's fun to think I would do, right? Because it's fun. Folklore is fun, you know? It's fun to think of fairy tales, it's fun to see and understand these creatures, this mythos, this world of fantasy sort of being embedded within our reality and sort of suspend your disbelief for a moment and sort of buy into that, you know, the, the kayfabe, as I say, of the fantasy crypto cryptid mythos. It's fun, you know? I'm not going to take that away from everyone. I suppose if you start def defining your life around it, then that's all, like, it becomes detrimental to you, maybe, like, in a sort of, like, maladaptive daydreaming sort of way. Maybe that's when it becomes less fun. Um, but the Loch Ness Monster, at least, like, my relationship with the Loch Ness Monster, of it just being, like, a sort of fun, like, folklore story, is uh, that's just what it is, basically. Um, anyway, so that Loch Ness is, I mean, that's, like, what she was named after, Loch Ness Monster found in Loch Ness. Um, but I, honestly, the name Nessie is such a cute name. I don't, was Nessie like ever a name originally? Or was it name origin? Around 18th century. Oh, it's a diminutive of Agnes. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it's long, large, a large long neck with one or more humps protruding from water. I've always understood it was meant to be like a sea serpent or something but i think you know some people display it as a, like a what's that dinosaur called plesiosaurus yeah Ple plesiosaurus um yeah apparently uh, i don't know how long it's been origin of a name 1933 loch ness monster nessie um 7th century ad a monster in the loch ness i didn't even know it went that far backwards 1871 Object resembling a log or upturned boat wriggling and churning up the water. A lot of things can be reasonably explained. Well, there's actually a huge documentation of sightings of a Loch Ness Monster. 2021, a live stream captured a Loch Ness Monster. What? No way. Obviously not true, but still funny. Well, I'm not going to say the live stream didn't happen and not going to say that they didn't see something in water which could have been interpreted as Loch Ness Monster. But... <laughs> Um, I guess it's just kind of fun to think she exists. I mean, a lot of it is, I assume, to do with cognitive bias. Like, you look for things which confirm what you already believe. And the people only, like, look... Like, no one's out here trying to disprove a Loch Ness Monster. Because I think if you don't believe in it, you just kind of go, why would I bother? But people who do, like... Fe fervently? Is that how you say the word? Uh, believe in a Loch Ness Monster are going to be trying to search out evidence at any 
point or opportunity and the cognitive bias is going to make him interpret anything which does support the claim as yes that is a Loch Ness monster um I do find it funny that Wikipedia has a very well of course Wikipedia should have a very serious article on it that's kind of what we have Wikipedia for but it, I don't know, I guess it just sort of seems a little bit silly. Anyway, the folklore around Loch Ness Monster is fun. And there's like so, so much like merchandising and tourism, like souvenir sort of things created around the Loch Ness Monster. Like so many things are Loch Ness Monster themed. Like uh, I myself were uh, like, so more power to them, you know, Scotland for tapping into this tourist like mascot mascotting or a way to have a franchise uh, because honestly that's a great idea like <laughs> mascots are fantastic if you ever want um to merchandise something right i mean think about it like iconic mascots mickey mouse mario sonic i'm sure there's others which probably come to mind like ronald mcdonald's kind of um <laughs> um colonel uh, colonel sanders or kfc like mascots are sort of like a lifeblood for fantastic like association with an image or brand and so more power to scotland to be like okay well Loch Ness monster you know, i don't know if they're originally ones who created up the, uh, the mythology around it but you know once it starts to sort of catch on people are starting to visit for it well might as well take advantage of this for the tourism industry tourism industry right like i, I remember there was like fish and chip shops or chippies um which were based around the Loch Ness monster i think it was called like monster chips or monster chippy i, I can't remember but based around the Loch Ness Monster. You go into like stores and there's like huge amounts of Loch Ness Monster plushies. I have one sitting on uh, my plushie shelf at the back. So that exists. Um, there's like Loch Ness Monster ex ex uh, esque merchandise. There's one I have here of, um, it's like a really cute bookmark, which is crazy because I don't even read much books, but I, I bought it to be like a motivator to be like, oh, let's actually start buying books and let's actually start reading them or something. Because I'm like, this is such a cute little thing. Um, I also saw those other like Loch Ness Monster things in the same brand, um, which have this cute design. One was like a tea infuser and there was, I think, a ladle or something, which is super cute. And I was just like, okay, that, that's cute. But I feel like if I actually read books, this is probably the most practical of them. And I like the concept because when you put it in a book, it's like the Loch Ness Monster herself sort of like peeking out from the waters. And I'm like, that's so cute and creative. Anyway, um, I said to myself, you know, direct goals and things achievable goals i was like okay what's my first book i'm gonna read i'm gonna read flowers of algernon is it a good book i don't know it's a popular book though and i've heard things about it um so i'm just like why not give it a shot um but i just haven't been to like a bookstore yet to actually pick it up or anything so at one point i will do so um but yeah uh what else was i gonna talk about yeah Loch Ness monster um, I'm trying to think what other things we saw. There were like some books of a mythology around it. Like one of my friends, they bought a book surrounding it's like mythos or like mythology in Scotland. I assume it contained Loch Ness Monster. I don't know if I ever asked about that. Um, I bought a plushie. Uh, there were some other books. There was like this picture of like a children's art book with a Loch Ness Monster, which I like looked into. And for whatever reason, the Loch Ness Monster had like the fiercest eyelashes. Not actually the fiercest eyelashes, but she had like very defined fierce eyelashes. And I was like, oh, yes, Nessie, slay. <laughs> um, even funnier videos, like uh, to, to make me remember it, I, I recorded like a small video being like, yes, Nessie, or something like that. <laughs> and I stopped because <laughs> a friend wanted to ask me a question or something. And then she just said afterwards, you TikTok are you. I don't have TikTok, mind you. I don't have TikTok. I don't use TikTok. Um, so... <laughs> If anything, I'm not the antithesis of TikTok. I, I won't lie, but maybe I have a bit of TikTok energy around me. But amusing, I don't use it at all. Um, it just doesn't appeal to me. Like, I, I like long form videos. I'm, I'm very millennial coded, I suppose, of that. Give me my video essays. I don't want digestible quick snippets and things like that. I want longer funny skits. Almost Friday production, shout out to them. Um, anyway, so Loch Ness Monster, sorry. I, like, there's not much else to say about Loch Ness Monster. Because I don't really know much of a mythos about it. So it was hard for me to dive into it um there's a museum apparently we didn't go end up going to a museum i think it like shot or something by the time we we're going to go there um we just sort of went like shopping around the place didn't we I, I bought a surprising amount of things in scotland i should have bought like some like clothing which was Loch Ness monster theme actually i kind of did uh, but we went around to a load of different stores we split up in different groups just sort of naturally i don't even know how that necessarily happened i think we all just like went walkabouts independently and then just whoever we met up with met up with 
Um, so I, I went around with like another friend and I grabbed like a panini from a cafe. He got, I don't remember what he got, like a sandwich from Boots or something. And we went around to all these stores. Uh, before that, I bought some uh, cashmere uh, scarf and gloves. I wasn't originally going to, but I was just like, yeah, Scotland, you know. <laughs> I don't even know ca cashmere, cashmere sheep Scotland. I don't know if they grow that or whatever, but. Oh, cashmere goats. Sorry, not sheep. Yeah, that, that's a good point. I mean, they do live in Scotland or whatever. So I was like, might as well in Scotland. There was like a brand or something. And I walked in. I wasn't going to buy anything because I was like, cashmere is kind of expensive. But then I saw a colour um, of a scarf and I was like, okay, I actually really like this colour. <laughs> it's like this. It's not tartan because tartan is a specific colour combination. But it's like that plaid combination of like this like grey sort of uh, pastel blues and greens. And it's really cute. And I got like a pastel green hat as well because it was really you know a cute color and I was like I don't have like um, a hat or anything of this color and I was like this matches so well I, it was expensive um, but yeah I bought that and then I bought lunch I bought something else I, I wanted to check out a store it was really cute and it was just like the cute things in like the cute Scottish store or something like that I can't remember it was closed unfortunately so couldn't uh, but we went to like a glassware store where we like made glass arts and crafts and I bought a necklace and earrings which were Loch Ness monster themed um, and I've worn the, the necklace I haven't worn the earrings yet because I've still got like the, the placeholder the, the trainee earrings studs uh, in my ears right now but come six more weeks I think I'll be able to take them out and then maybe I'll give them a shot as well um, and they were super cute. I don't know if I bought anything else. I think that's everything. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a big old shopping trip, really, Block Ness Monster. So tourism worked. Um, they had like this cute, like, bush plant thing based off a like, cut to look like a Loch Ness Monster. And then afterwards, we saw some Highland cattle, I guess. Yeah, I got a farm. Um, and then the thing we did next, I suppose, I'll talk about tomorrow. But yeah, I don't know. Loch Ness Monster. Probably one of my favourite cryptids, I think. I, I think she's a really fun one, uh, to be honest. I've got no hate against her. And on that note, I guess I'll round this episode off here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares. Greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.